Hi, I'm Michelle and welcome to One Energy Science Shorts. Wind turbines generate electricity that can power a lot of different things, from turning on the lights at a school to charging your cell phone. But how does electricity get from the wind turbine to a cell phone? Electricity needs a way to travel, and that's what we'll be discussing today. There are two different ways that electricity travels, AC, or alternating current, and DC, or direct current. AC is a type of electrical current where the direction of flow swaps back and forth at regular intervals. DC, on the other hand, is a type of electrical current where the direction of flow is always in the same direction. Whoa. Current, direction of flow, what does that mean? Let's pause and talk a little more about some electricity fundamentals, power, current, and voltage. Electricity is the movement of electrons, which are tiny particles that we can't see. When electrons move, they create charge, which we can capture to do work. Remember that the rate that work is done is called power. So electrical power is the rate of electrical energy transferred over time. My friend Jessica talks about the difference between power and energy in one of our other science shorts if you want more detail on power. Now, current is the flow of these charged electrons over time. It's how fast these charged electrons are moving. If you look at a phone charger, think about drawing a line on it and counting every electron that crosses the line for 10 seconds. You just counted the flow of charge over time, or the current. Finally, voltage is the force, or pressure, that makes electrons move. You can also think of voltage as the difference in charge between two points. The difference in charge is what makes the electrons want to flow to begin with. Voltage, current, and power are related to each other with this equation. If we want to have the same power, or energy over time, with a smaller current, we will need a higher voltage. Conversely, a bigger current will need a lower voltage. So AC, or alternating current, and DC, direct current, have that common term we just learned, current. And we know that current is the flow of charged electrons over time. But then, what's the difference between AC and DC? DC power is supplied at a constant voltage. The current can change depending on how quickly we want to use the electric charge, but it is always flowing in the same direction. A battery is a good way to think about this. The battery has a constant voltage and current will always flow out of the positive end, through the circuit to provide power, and back to the negative end. Most of the appliances in our home need DC power to operate, like a cell phone or even a refrigerator. In AC power, the current actually switches directions as it travels. In the US, AC systems are designed so the current switches direction 60 times a second. And because voltage is directly related to the current, the voltage alternates as well. The power that comes directly out of the outlets at our homes is AC. Now, why would one type of current be better than the other? When we want to send electricity over a long distance, some energy is going to be lost along the way. To minimize the energy lost as it travels, we want to send it with a low current. But remember, we'll need a higher voltage to be able to provide the same power at the end. Remember the equation? P power equals current times voltage? It turns out that with AC, it's very easy to change the voltage so we can lose the least amount of energy. Because of this, electricity is sent over long distances using AC with a high voltage and a low current. Think of the power lines you see on the side of the road. But once the electricity gets to its final destination, like an outlet in your home, we need to change it back to DC so our appliances can use it. That is what the brick on a cell phone charger is for. It converts the AC power that was sent to your house to the DC power that your phone battery needs to charge. Now, what does all this have to do with wind turbines? Wind turbines generate power based on how fast the wind is blowing. When the wind blows, the blades of the turbine, or the rotor, will spin. The rotor is attached to a generator, which creates electrical power when the rotor spins. The power that comes out of the generator is an AC, so the current that is constantly changing directions. But the generator on the wind turbine doesn't control how often the current switches directions. It kind of lets the current swap directions all willy-nilly. Before we can put that electricity out onto the bigger power grid, 
We have to clean it up and make sure that it's switching directions at exactly the right time so it will match up with the rest of the grid. We do this by converting the electricity to DC, so all of the electricity starts to flow in the same direction at a constant voltage, just like the power brick of a phone charger. Then we convert it back to AC with the exact same timing of direction switches as the rest of the electricity on the grid. Once that's done, we step up the voltage and therefore decrease the current and can send that electricity out on its merry way. And that's it for today's installment of One Energy Science Shorts. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel and remember, challenge everything.